Okay, mes amis, this is going to be fun. Instead of really looking at the actual fossil evidence that exists, they're talking about popular myth debunked, new research reveals dinosaurs were not as smart as we thought. <laughs> How do they know this? And who cares? Let's find out about what were the dinosaurs compared to the pre-flood. Dinosaurs were after the major dying. It was called the Great Dying. It was the Triassic period, the end of the Triassic period. Then came the Jurassic, which was Jurassic Park. Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs were literally parasites compared to the creatures I'm going to show you now. Okay, my friends, you're going to find this hard to believe. I certainly do. They're talking about the intelligence of dinosaurs and about T-Rex. An international team, paleontologists, behavioral scientists, neurologists, re-examined brain size and structure, concluded they behave more like crocodiles and lizards. A huge undertaking to, to, to investigate this. And here's what I have. I have new species. I have new species, and I have had my stuff DNA tested and CAT scans and everything else. That's a, that's a giant human being. That's a left hand, and that's the pad that runs around. That's the cleave between the hair. That's a little tendon that comes down. I have the fingertips, and I've had them CAT scanned, and I have knuckles and everything else. And that's the grip skin. You see this silvery looking skin? That's peeling off. That's the same thing you have on your hands, real tough. It's like a glove. And then here is all the puffy stuff around the edge. And the small finger goes off this way, so it's this way here. That's the thumb. Now, I, like I say, I've had this CAT scan. I've had the fingertips. All right, this is, this is one fingertip here. And you see this little right there? That's where the fingernail was. This is a 2D CAT scan. It was done by Jesse Garant and Associates. They did seven CAT scans for us, 2D and 3D. Fabulous, fabulous people. Jesse Garant and Associates. You ever want something CAT scanned or, or done like this? They're the people to talk to. Best in the world. Now, so this is the 2D of the fingertip. Now, this is the 3D of the fingertip. Because it's mud fossils, it's completely been invaded. You see this right here? That's where you can see the bone. That's all that's left of the, of the bone, but it's just you can just barely see it inside the transition stuff. All of these are the blood vessels. You can see the blood vessels going through and so forth. But the, 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 the complete thing, the bone and everything, the flesh, transitioned almost completely. You can only just barely see where the transitions membranes are. Membranes show up, but that's about it on a 3D. The 2D is better because then you can just see from the outside, like this here. You see this? This is the back of the fingertip. I have that fingertip right here. Hold on. Uh, never mind. I don't have it here. But you saw it. This is the back of it looking up. That's the bone. These are the two tendons. All right, but looking at it from the top, that's the fingertip here. The other shot was from this way back, coming that way. All right, now, and that came from this big hand, this big, huge hand here. I have one that's even bigger than that. I have a fingertip that's almost as big as this, just a tip. And it was, this was DNA tested. And I show you the CAT scans from the parts. This one here is a fingertip as well. You see that? That's a fingertip. All right, take your time. All right, it's, this is the fingernail. You see it? That's the fingernail. Exactly like our fingernail, no difference whatsoever. And very well taken care of, basically. That is the little pad that goes between bones so they don't scrub against each other. That's the vein and artery blood supply coming through. I smashed this piece off here so I could get down inside to get some blood. And it came off right along the, the fingernail. It just came right off like that. <laughs> Boom, like an eight pound sledge. And it just popped off like a scab. 
and here it is, it even still, this is a fingernail, we still have the fingerprints. Here it is right here. This is the piece that came off. That's the, the sweat pores and the finger ridges. You see the sweat pores up here? They're right in the middle of the ridges. Here they are right here. And the finger nail was right up in this area. And you have the same thing on you. Right next to your fingernail is you start your fingerprints. Very, very close. Now my thumb is about the width of that one little finger ridge in your fingerprints. So this is a big, it is like three feet long. Just the fingertip, just the fingertip three feet long. I figured this guy would be about 160 to 180 feet tall. And then, that's not only the biggest thing I got. I got this right here, which is the hair follicle from some, I don't know what it's from, but it's big. <laughs> it's two inches wide. This is a thousand times bigger than a human hair. And that's that's the erector pili muscle attachment. That's the hair shaft. This is the sebaceous gland, which is slid down here. So we're here. This gooey stuff slid down, and that's where the sebaceous gland is now. See all that goo? All right, the hair root comes down, and those two little dots are the vein and artery. I've shown this a bazillion times. Nobody will look at it, and they want to find out how smart T-Rexes are. That's insanity. I'm showing you stuff. This guy would be a mile tall. A T-Rex would be a parasite. It'd be like a tick on a guy. And that's just on this particular thing. They come much, 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 much bigger than this. Much bigger. And I have new species. We have the notos. This is all pre-flood stuff. This is all died and laid flat, just like that in the flood after they died. And I have the the uh, Oh, lung here that we also had tested, DNA tested, and CAT scan. Flat as a pancake because it died in the flood. This is all pre-flood stuff. And here's the CAT scan, I mean the uh, DNA test. This is back from 2015. It's almost 10 years ago. And there's three of them. This is a PCR DNA test using all kind of special primers and this and that. It was an expensive test and it took uh, several months to do and it came back positive for human DNA, all three of them. And this is a homo sapien mitochondrial B loop and D loop region. It started calling B gene and D loop region. And some of, two of them out of the three had excellent quality DNA sequences. This was not some cheap little quick wash test. And I drilled in deep. And, the, and the, what I brought out of here was like almost like red blood. You see this? You see how red that is? This stuff, it can actually it can bleed. Some of these, you can actually get blood out of them. Look. Look at this. That's that lung right here that I had DNA tested. CAT scan is all everything. There's another one here that, that did it in a different way. You see these little red spots coming out of there? They actually had blood. They came out like that with blood. Blood is, is it's an extreme preservative. It's, I know it sounds crazy, but it is, it's, it's the iron in the blood seems to protect everything. And others have came up with the same conclusion. Mary Schweitzer has been talking about this as well, that just the iron appears to be the preservative, and I agree with that 100%. I also have this right here. This footprint was pushed down through a red bed. You had a red bed, gray clay, and then a black cap. This is the black cap. It comes right over here. This is gray clay. That's supposed to be above this. It's not. It's pushed down through this. This guy with this kind of a foot stepped right on here when this all th three layers were just being laid down. The red bed was wet. The gray clay was on top. It was wet. The guy stepped on top of the gray clay. It pushed it down through the red bed. Then the black cap, which was the fallout of all the volcanic eruptions and all the disturbance and burning and everything, landed on top. And this was on top here. This is the Triassic period. This all happened like within a week. This was wet, this was wet, and then that landed on top. 
And this is the kind of noto, it's something very similar to this, stepped into that wet layers. And they want to learn if the dinosaurs were smart. This this is, bothers me. I got to be honest with you. I'm very well troubled by this. Our educational system is nothing more than a money making system. They come up with all these nonsense ideas, trying to figure out how smart the dinosaurs were. There's somebody give them twenty million dollars to try to figure this out, and they'll just walk around in circles for the next couple of years doing that. It's it's happened the same thing. I've shown this on Mars. We got saturated with life out there. We had dragons. We had giants. We had everything that they said in the ancient texts. And all of this stuff now is so easily proven and refused to be examined by the people we trusted to educate our kids. That's my last word on this. I love you all. It's time to change this, to stop this. This is nonsense. It's, it's not good. It's not good at all. And it's just a strict power play and domination by academia. They control society now. If you don't do what they say, they will fail you. And if you don't pay them to get a piece of paper to say you're smart, you're going to work in the fields. So they got you by both ends of the, by the top and bottom. You can't, there's nothing you can do about it. You just do what they say or you live a Spartan life.